and kill it. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? It was a little too aggressive. We won't be doing that again. My head hurts. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Allie. And we'll be doing a review on Lizzie McGuire. Ah, uh, Lizzie McGuire. Does anyone remember this piece of nostalgia? In my opinion, it was easily one of the best shows the Disney Channel had to offer. It was funny, it was creative, it had a really nice likability to it, and it generated a lot of content that's still relatable to this day. <laughs> the door just opened on its own. The door opened on its own. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm gonna walk it. Now let's get back to Disney Channel's original series, Lizzie McGuire. This show was aired on the Family Channel and it centers around the protagonist, Lizzie McGuire. She's a young, quirky, kind of clumsy, relatable girl going through her middle school life. She lives with her family, including her mom, her dad, and her brother, Matt. The show also focuses on her lifelong friends. So there's Sassy Miranda and Bill Maker Gordo. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to me. The show addresses the hardships of coming of age and crushes and social situations. The show ran for a total of two seasons and that ran from 2001 to 2004. I remember watching reruns from the show in my childhood. It will always, always hold a dear spot in my heart. Always. Also, Lizzie seems to have like an alter ego that's kind of like today's standard of like a bit emoji. She says things I guess Lizzie's thinking or like feeling, but like I never really understood it because I was, I guess I was like a stupid little child. Oh, oh. Before we move on, I just want to address that there is a movie, there's a full blown movie. It has great music. I still remember the music. Hit that tie to tie. Fashion show is still, oh, mm, it's amazing, iconic. But since there is so much to talk about in the movie and the show, I just thought I would do focus on the show for now. And like, if we'll see in the future, maybe I'll do a whole review on the movie because like, there's so much to talk about. In order to review the show just in general, I decided to break it up into three different parts of why the show is truly still a legend in my mind. So reason one, the editing. Let me first clarify, this show is insane. Just look at this different editing. It'd be so, oops, I did it again. This is a job for the incredible Oscar. Take your cup. Go and charge your costumes. Owe me a favor. She need a partner for the clog dancing class. Some of the editing still makes me feel like I'm having a weird fever dream. And this is one of the many reasons why the show is so memorable. Jazz hands! Sinead! 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 Reason two is the fashion. Oh my god, the looks are unreal. They are iconic. Amazing. Daring. Unreal. So early 2000s. For some reason, my brain cannot forget about when Lizzie was teaching Ethan Kraft how to do math with scrunchies. Ethan needs hair scrunchies! So I thought I'd contribute to that. The clear backpacks, the crimped crazy hair, oh my god. Matching patterns that shouldn't be together in the tight muscle shirts. Amazing. My fashion inspiration is Lizzie McGuire, still to this day. And like, Every episode serves you a fresh new look. They are just such a product of their time. I found when I was like talking to people about doing this video and like talking about Lizzie McGuire in general, everyone remembers the looks. I totally remember girls my age when I was growing up wanting to dress like Lizzie McGuire. I'm pretty sure we all ended up looking like pumpkins. We look bad. And like looking back at the show and rewatching it, I realized I kind of dress like that. Like, look at this. Is this not kind of similar? Reason three, the characters. I think this show really works because every freaking character has a personality. 
and has a distinct and clear personality. Like they're so, so much their own person, it feels like they're real. And it's actually insane how much background a total side character can have. Let's just start with Liz, who is just, she's an average girl who's honest and can't lie. Lizzie, tell me the truth. And she's also pretty clumsy, which I found really relatable. A B plus, that's what I'm talking about. Miranda is her best friend. She's sassy and strong, and I guess a good singer. I'm so there. Maybe a good singer. Miranda, you're a really good singer, and this is a great opportunity for you. He said, I have talent. I have talent. My country is to these free land of liberty of the ice. And then there's Gordo who loves learning and he's just, he's smart and he loves challenging the status quo and he's a filmmaker. He's basically today's standard of a hipster. Can't you just talk normal like, hey dog, what's the dealio? That's how everybody talks. I'm not everybody. Like when everybody else was rollerblading, Gordo was riding a unicycle. When everybody else was into chocolate cappuccinos, he had a zen rock garden, whatever that is. And, but, that being said, even though he's like a hipster or whatnot, he's actually a really good friend to Lizzie and listens to her and actually cares. And so Gordo always stands up for his friends and always kind of speaks out when he feels like he should. And he always cheers Lizzie up, which I think is kind of why they developed a romantic relationship, but we'll get more into that. Hey guys, it's Editing Alley here. And I realized I totally forgot to edit in the part about Lizzie and Gordo's relationship. So um, show left off on that they're friends, but there might be something more, I think, to set up for the movie. So maybe I can just talk about that in the movie review. Sorry. Ronnie broke up with me. He's a loser. No, Gordo, I'm the loser, okay? He likes another girl. I feel so awful. Yeah, I know, but you'll get over it. Whereas that guy, he's gonna realize what an idiot he was. He's gonna feel awful for the rest of his life. Another side character that I love is Lizzie's brother, Matt. He, he resembles everybody's younger sibling or you like you knew someone with a younger sibling like this or you had a younger sibling like this. Inventing a potion that will usher in thousands of years of evil. He, just emulated everyone's sibling to a certain extent. He was always testing the limits, eavesdropping on Lizzie, trying to get her in trouble, but also because he just loves her. Lizzie's talking about dressing like Britney Spears. Matt and I are fighting. Lizzie's talking about dressing like Britney Spears. Matt and I are fighting, as usual. And my parents launched into this whole discussion about how he's the only brother I've got and we should be friends or something. He's a mischievous little brat and we love him. Okay, Lizzie's parents are awesome. They are such classic parents. I can't, I can't with them. <laughs> They're both fun loving and goofy, but they can also like put their foot down where they need to. And they are very protective and normal parental anxieties. Don't touch my pineapple chunks. I'm making fruit kebabs later. They also have a lot of sweet and genuine moments with the parents, which I really like because you live with your parents. You live with your siblings. They're like, can't really ignore that they're part of your life and you come home to them every day. That's a really big part of growing up. Okay, I love the one episode where Lizzie tries to convince her parents to babysit her younger brother for the very first time. The mom considers it at first and the dad is immediately, his first reaction is to say no. After further discussion and a lot of convincing, Lizzie can get some to agree to let her babysit Matt. And they finally decide to bestow upon Lizzie the responsibility. As the parents are gone, things slowly start to get a little more hectic. Matt has some sugar and he can't calm down and Lizzie can't control him and he won't listen to her. Meanwhile, at dinner, the dad becomes increasingly more agitated about leaving the kids at home and just wants to go check up on them. He decides to go check up on Lizzie and Matt, even though the mom advises him against it. He says, fuck you, I'll do what I want, and he leaves dinner. And basically what ends up happening is karma gets daddy. He, <laughs> he scares the kids, they call the cops, and he goes to jail for 10 years. Just kidding. Lizzie's just salty and tells the police that it's not her dad, but it actually is, and they end up leaving, which I don't think would happen in real life, but okay. They end up having a wonderfully written talk about how he worries she's growing up too fast and that's hard for him to accept. 
and she tells him it's okay that he feels that way. But I thought this was a really great moment because it kind of captured that feel of home and growing up. And still to this day, it's a bit of nostalgia for me. Our daughter's about to have her heart broken. What? Who? Where? Nobody ever tells me anything. He just said, we need to talk. Those are the four most horrible words in the English language. Nothing good ever follows. We need to talk. Okay. The side characters. They are so freaking funny and so awesome and so... I don't even know how they came up with these personalities, but they're all different and they add a little bit of flavor to the show themselves. There's this mean girl, Kate, who is always insulting Lizzie and has dropped some of the sickest burns ever known to man. It's lame. There's Ethan Kratt, the cliche good looking jock who has no brains. Lizzie, 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 my day is proceeding with fun. So far I'm paddling my kayak alone. And then there's Larry fucking Touchman. I love Larry fucking Touchman. He's just an odd nerd that kind of does his own thing and he also eats worms to win elections. I know what. So Larry wears the same shirt every day and it looks like it should be white, but it's not white. It always grossed me out as a kid. I feel like they really captured how, how of a social pariah he was. Me. What made you wake up and smell the touch? fact that I've seen Lord of the Rings 12 times. And I love that one episode he literally just changes his shirt and puts on glasses and they think he's a completely different person and even Miranda has a crush on him. Yeah! There's also Lanny who is Matt's best friend. He like never utters a word during the whole show and it's such a mood. And Matt talk I love that Matt talks to him like he's just saying like stuff back, but he's not saying anything. Either Matt can read his mind or his body language, or he's just guessing. Like it it's honestly so funny. Don't say another word, Lanny. So the parents are always trying to break Lanny, which I find so fucking funny for some reason. Hiya, Lanny. You think you got enough energy for that, Lanny? Does he ever say anything? I've never heard him. That's creepy. Maybe he's just shy. The record. Isn't that great, Lanny? I'm telling you. And then there's like actual like other side characters who are there for like maybe one episode and then we never see them again. Like for example, there's this weird karate teacher and he's literally in one episode. One episode. Like this is the type of effort I appreciate in a show. <laughs> Hello. This show also has many guest stars that appear like Aaron Carter. Those are the only ones I can think of right now. This show, literally, it was so dope and I love this show and it still holds up so much to this day. It's still relatable but a product of its time and I love that she was just like a normal girl living her life, trying to find her passions, trying to figure out social situations with her friends. It's just so great and it, it will, I think it will stand the test of time. Well, that's really all I had planned to say. Honestly, you just gotta watch it to know. So I hope you go back and you rewatch the show. So that kind of wraps up the video, you guys. And thank you so much for everyone's support and I appreciate any view I get, so. Hell yeah. I'll be doing a Sabrina the Teenage Witch next, which will be really fun. We'll be looking at the different TV shows compared to this TV, sh the new TV show, I guess. So it'll take me a long time to go through it all, but it's so worth it because I love that show growing up. And if you like the video, please give it a like. Please make a comment. Tell me what you think about Lizzie McGuire. What do you think about Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Let me know. I'd love to know. <laughs> That's all I have to say, so goodbye.